The leather look is deceptive. The fabric used to make these fashion products is purely plant-based. It comes from the fibers of pineapple leaves and weighs just a quarter of what real leather would. British designer Alicia Lay has been using this innovative natural material in her shoe collections for about a year now. Although it is a natural product, it actually looks really very stylish. It's got a natural texture to it. Um, it comes in several different colors and it's nice and soft and pliable. It's easy to take care of and durable. The fabric made from pineapple fibers is called Pinatex and is made by the British startup Ananas Anam. Its founder, Carmen Hijosa of Spain, spent about a decade developing the material. Before that, she worked in the leather industry for 15 years. While looking for a sustainable alternative to leather, she experimented with banana and agave leaves before she found pineapple. This particular pineapple fiber, which has been used in the Philippines for 400 years, traditionally to make very beautiful, very light textiles, um, I realized then the quality of this fiber because it's very, very fine, but it's very soft and flexible, but also strong. Waste from the pineapple harvest on the Philippines provides the raw material. Farmers collect the leaves and separate the fibers using a special machine. Then the fibers are dried in the sun. From then, a Filipino factory produces a non-woven fleece-like material, which is coated with polymers and bonding agents to make the piña text robust and long-lasting. About 480 leaves go into each square meter. When I started to work with the factory, um, they had never done anything like it because they were used to working and they still work with polyurethane, you know, petroleum-based fibers, which are very much, much easier, that all even, stronger. Um, and it took us a, f a couple of years to come up to a mesh that wasn't falling up, up to bits. In the meantime, Pinatex fulfills all industry standards and is ready to go on the market. Here in the Pineapple Room in London, several designers display their products. Among them are the Spanish firm Maravilla Bags. And the Australian clockmaking company, Time for Change. Well-known companies like German sporting goods manufacturer Puma are also experimenting with the material. And customers seem to like it. It comes from the earth and then it goes back into the earth and it doesn't harm anything in between. So, you know, if no chemicals are used when it's made, it's all completely natural. So I think it's great. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think something that we're using as an industry byproduct or a waste that is otherwise being burnt or sent into a landfill to be made into shoes and bags and watch straps. I think it's a fantastic idea. British fashion expert Alison Louis found the fabric unusual and it drew her attention. As an investor, she observes the fashion scene and supports startups that place special value on sustainability. It could change the whole shape of the industry. It won't happen overnight, but in time it will, and help these communities in, in all different countries, in developing countries become more sustainable. A lot of them is, are women behind it all, so it will help empower the women in these communities. So actually, it's a really long effect um, on all stages of the chain. Ananas Anam founder Carmen Hijosa wants to continue expanding. Demand for her pineapple leaf fabric already exceeds what she can produce.